A models hallucinate for a simple measurable reason. They are prediction engines, not fact engines. Take GBD4, Claude 3.5, Gemini 1.5, all the frontier models. Even the best of them still show 5 to 15 percent hallucination rates on open-ended tasks, depending on the benchmark. On adversarial reasoning tests, that number can spike past 20 percent and the root cause is structural. These models compress trillions of tokens of text into a few hundred billion parameters. That compression makes them powerful, but it also forces them to generalize aggressively. When the model doesn't have enough signal in its training data or the question is outside distribution or you force it to reason with missing pieces, it does what it was built to do, predict the most likely answer, not the truest one. That's the hallucination. So does this ever go away? Not fully, not as long as the core architecture is predict the next token. But hallucinations will shrink dramatically because three trends are already working. Number one, model scaling. Every generation sees a drop of 30 to 50 percent in hallucinations simply because the models capture more patterns. GPT-3 to GPT-4, Claude 2 to 3.5, same story. Number two, retrieval grounding. Pair an LLM with a search engine or a vector store. And hallucination drops with 60 to 90 percent on factual tasks. Models don't need to guess when they can look up. Number three, tool using AI. Agents that can call APIs, run code, check citations, or verify steps reduce hallucinations to the low single digits for certain workflows. Because they're not just predicting, they're checking. So the future isn't a model that never hallucinates. The future is a model that refuses to answer until it verifies. A model that can say, I don't know, let me check. Hallucinations won't disappear, but for most real world use cases, they will become background noise instead of a threat. And that's how AI stops speaking confidently wrong and starts behaving like something that actually knows what it's talking about.